Today we're going to be testing a Pentair Superflow variable speed pump, 1.5 horsepower pump installed on a two inch plumbing system with a 150 square foot cartridge filter. What we're going to be doing is we're going to run this pump at full speed, 3,450 RPM, and we're going to take a look at both the flow rate and the electrical consumption. And the question that we're going to ask is if we were to turn down the RPM by 500 RPM, what difference will that make to the flow rate and to the electrical consumption? Let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to go ahead and crank this pump up to 3,450 RPM. As you can see, we've got a two inch suction line there, an inch and a half is closed. Same with the return side, all going through the two inch. Let's take a look at our FlowViz digital flow meter. 102, 103, so about 102 and a half gallons per minute. Top right, 2.31 kilowatts, 2,310 watts, that's what that means, 10.4 amps. All right, so let's knock this down by 500. That brings us down to 2,950 RPM, 500 less. Let's see what we got. Drop and flow is 82 to 83 gallons per minute, gallons per minute, so it's about 20. Pretty significant difference in the power consumption though. 1.47 kilowatts, 1,470 watts, 6.6 amps 6.6 .6. so again that's a pretty that's a pretty substantial drop in power actually um, you know about 35 percent but we only went down 20 gallons per minute so as you can see there that's just the beginning of seeing how there's a linear drop in flow rate with an exponential drop in power consumption as you turn down the rpm of a variable speed motor if you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.